What are the um, uh, emotional, psychological, ethical expressions of really kind of genuinely long-term good psychedelic people? What is the long-term ethical expression of the good of psychedelic people? Yeah. Well, it's some kind of it's some kind of effort to separate shit from Shinola. In other words, it's uh, some kind of effort to uh, uh, distill uh, a, ra a, a truth from the blooming, buzzing confusion of the universe. So it's a branch of I don't know what you would say, cognitive science or something like that. It's a, an effort to define the human essence away from its content or something like that. And you see what I mean? Tell, explain a little more. Well, it's a, it's a branch of psychology. It's a self-study in psychology. So anybody who's taking psychedelics is, I assume, trying to present a truer image of themselves to other people and the world through this process of um, distillation of understanding. And that's where the connection to alchemy and all that comes in. This distillation of essence away from the dross confusion and Gnostic muck of the world is a kind of uh, like a Jungian individuation process or something like that. And that, and that manifests in the, in the call even in normal life to present it yourself, articulate yourself, oneself differently. I think so, yeah. And causes people to be willing to take chances, uh, both pharmacological and sociological, by being involved in something so marginal, you know. Because in the, in the big civilizations, this kind of shamanic stuff is definitely very marginal. Most people just don't do it. Do you feel that that characterizes the overall or in some significant way the kind of people that you've met for the last it depends on how often they do it you know some people are doing it because their friends are doing it some people are doing it because some i don't know they're <coughs> feeling some kind of social pressure but the people who are really called to do it are rare <coughs> you know the people who say well i get loaded 10 times a year on high dose psychedelics or six times a year that's a lot I mean that means yeah. your lifestyle is pretty much defined by by all that hmm. stuff yeah I would love to know what the real numbers are how many people a year get really loaded once you get the Amazon Indians out you know, the Mexicans out and a few of these people out. It's hard to even know how you begin to make an estimate, you know. Be, um, be, before your sickness, did how often did you do lar large journeys? Mm, less and less often. I mean, I noticed that through the 90s. That, uh, But maybe four or five times a year get... But 